Hi, my name is Ryan. I just got done doing the 25 day European quest from Contigi. Here's some things that you guys might want to know. So I'm 18. Um, and when I was looking on YouTube, for, I was kind of looking for like just some insider tips. Not, um, I was looking for like, hey, here's some things you may not know when you're going into it, but you might want to know about in the middle of it. So one, learn military time if you don't know it already. Because uh, I didn't really get into military time, but they have on, they have like these day sheets, um, which look like this. And um, so on the day sheets, instead of regular time, it has military time. And so if you don't know military time, you can have to do like a little bit of a conversion to find out when you're supposed to meet. And I mean, sometimes they'll tell you, but sometimes they won't. So you just need to find it out. So I'd say learn that, make your life a lot easier. Two. If you're traveling uh, internationally like I am, I'm coming from the U.S. Um, I got a prepaid black card to be able to travel. Um, I'd say get one that's a tap. Don't get one that's a swipe because a lot of places in Europe, uh, at least all the places I went to, they were all tap or uh, debit. Right? But my card was a swipe one, so I got a little bit confusing. Again, one thing that would make your life a lot easier just and a lot less confusing just get a tap payment card if you can, or even a debit one. And then something I didn't know when I booked my 25 day trip is other trips join in. We have a group of like 20 that started in the original group. I thought that was gonna be the people the entire trip, but no. So we got to Barcelona and we had like 15 more people join in and like five people drop off. So I didn't know that like, I thought it was the solid group the whole time, but more people join in and drop off during the whole thing. And I noticed that the other groups that were joining in thought it was the same thing. Like thought, oh, I'm just going with the same group the whole time, but didn't know they were joining into a group. So like welcome in those people because they thought they were joining a whole thing. And so they haven't built the relationships you already built. I'd say just welcome them in a little bit more. Something to pack that I heard people saying you needed to pack, but I was like, nah, I'll just wear headphones or something. Earbuds, like earplugs for night. Okay. I, I mean, I love all the people I went on the trip with. I love all of them. But God, some people can snore. Never knew. I thought someone was dying in my room one night. Like, okay, well, here's a clip of us messing with one of them. <laughs> so, naturally, that's going on at 4 a.m. And you just got back from partying and you're starting to feel a little bit like, like everything's super loud and someone's snoring the entire night, you're not gonna be able to sleep. So bring earphones, like earbuds. I did not do that. I had to buy them like halfway through the trip cause I just, I couldn't. If you can't afford this, it's fine. I used my phone's health app, but I'd say if you can, like, or if someone in your family has like an Apple watch, bring an Apple watch cause you are constantly walking everywhere. So. If you have an Apple Watch, I think I always thought it'd be kind of cool to like beginning your trip and then after your trip, see how many steps you did in like that entire trip's worth compared to like the month before. How many steps you did in that trip because it's a lot. I, I think my health app on my phone said that normally I had been doing 15,000 steps a day, like on average. So it would be good to know after all that. Um, and then some apps to download on your phone beforehand that might not think to download until you, I didn't know to download them until I got there. So they don't have they don't have DoorDash, which is what I always use in California, but they uh, they didn't have DoorDash. So they have Uber Eats, which is what I always use, except for like one place uses this thing called Glovo. It's all the same thing. Um, but if you're ever not wanting to go out one night because you're just so exhausted from the day before and you just wanted to stay in, um, then you can always Uber Eats food to your room. That, I did that a few times and it was very helpful. Um, just download Uber. That's another thing. Um, cause they don't, I mean, they have taxis, but they'll give you a car to call. And then I found that was very tricky. So just, it's a lot easier to do Uber and that's everywhere there. Um, something else is the, it's called Lime. So Lime is, there's these like motorized scooters or motorized bikes that you can use. And they're everywhere around the town. You just like scan the QR code with the app, turns it on. And then you can ride it. You just ride for as long as you want. And then, um, you know, when you get to your place, you scan it again, take a picture of where it is, 
and it charges you and it's not that bad it's pretty cheap um it's a lot cheaper than i mean if you don't want to take a uber from not that far of a place but you also don't want to walk very good option i'd say get line um netflix because you're going to be on a bus for like about six we had we had one drive that was 14 hours um so there are very long drives and you're not gonna be able to sleep that whole time you'll be able to sleep i slept a good percentage of the car drives um because well you know you're tired from being up the whole night before um but yeah i'd say netflix is a good way to like if you download movies at a hostel before and then when you get on the bus you have those pre-downloaded movies, great option. So with hostels, I was concerned, oh man, it's gonna be people, it's gonna be with people that aren't on my trip, it's just, no. So you're assigned with people that are in your trip. So, and then like, it's kind of off and on, it's always same gender hostel rooms, but um, like, if you, oh my gosh, can't talk. Uh, you can go in between a few different people and until they find who you really like being with and who you, they kind of watch you to see who you become really close friends with, and they start putting you in those hostels with those people more. Yeah, so don't worry about that. It's with people you're gonna be really close friends with. So I don't have the adapter on me. I still have it, but I don't know where it is. Um, but I, here's a picture of what a adapter there looks like. So the only place it's different is in London, and in London it looks like this. But yeah, so just buy one of those off like Amazon like a week before you leave um because you are going to need it and not a lot of gift shops sell them i've seen only place i really saw them was at the airport and it's expensive there so something i definitely recommend is getting a journal of some sort so this is the one i have uh, i'll show you what it roughly looks like um so there's a lot of just open pages like this but a lot of these pages yeah this is what one of the pages looks like so get something like this this is really cool it shows you um, like the location, the day it was through, what well, you stayed in the hostel, like how'd you drive, uh, the best meal. It gets you to really go into detail. Like I would not have been that detailed. I say get something definitely in depth like that. This is another thing. Kentucky is very Australian based is what I learned. Um, I didn't know that. I never heard of Kentucky until I looked it up, just looked up, you know, like travel groups, you know? Um, but yeah, no, it's like huge in Australia. So I mean, you see more like I, my trip manager t told me that um, in like shorter trips, you'll have a wider, wider variety, but in the longer trips, like I did a 25 day one, like the month long trips are, ba are mostly Australian. Um, you don't see a lot of other ones come in. Um, so I was about, I think there was me and two other Americans actually out of the 48 of us. And again, everyone that was on this trip was solo traveling. Not a sing I don't think a single person was really there with someone except for like maybe one or two people. Um, but yeah, super welcoming. Don't don't worry about that. I was super stressed about that. Like, don't worry about that. If you're worried about feeling homesick, if you're doing the 25 day thing like I am, I didn't start feeling homesick till about like two days to the end. But I was just so constantly busy because I was doing something every day from like early morning to late at night because you go like clubbing after uh, every night you go clubbing every night you go clubbing uh maybe not even clubs just like bars but you're con you're drinking like every night um and me being 18 not at being able to drink in the u.s but be able to drink there and i'm hanging out with a bunch of australians that are guys and want to get me hammered they did so <laughs> and i learned my limit like the first two days but um anyway it it flies by it flies by and something else i did not know um trip managers and drivers expected tip at the end of the trip i didn't know this they don't put this on the website i don't think um i may not have just read good enough but yeah they usually expect tipping about three euros a day so mine was 25 days so good amount um, put yourself aside a little bit of cash to save up for that last day because you are going to be like a little bit expected to tip um and then anyway this is just this next thing is just going to be a photo dump of kind of what the trip's like i'm gonna make it short i have well over hundreds of photos and videos from just these 25 days because constantly seeing stuff um but yeah i just hope you enjoy